I believe that Herman is one of the most influential artists in the creation of the sound of cinema. And I think that as time goes by, he will be uh, continually and increasingly regarded as such. Anyone who's new to our group today, I would see, I'm going to suggest a couple of titles that you've heard of, maybe, ha maybe haven't seen, that also contain some of the uh, signature stylistic approaches that Mr. Herman uses. Uh, here's the ones I've singled out. Citizen Kane, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Vertigo and Psycho, Fahrenheit 451, and Sisters. And I signal one more out for the signature low brass and winds that we're going to look at, which is a feature in Taxi Driver. And there is a, a cousin in a completely different genre, Journey to the Center of the Earth. I want to recommend uh, two things for you to check out. One is the Music for the Movies document, uh, documentary, Music for the Movies, Bernard Herman. The other is Stephen C. Smith's book, a Heart at Fire's Center. And I'd like to share some quotes, some of which are from Mr. Smith's book. First of all, this is from uh, Stephen's book. Um, it is difficult to recall Scorsese's nightmare vision of New York without hearing Herman's music, although light years away from the beauty and romanticism of obsession, which was scored uh, about four months earlier, same year as Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver's score was a similarly felt intuitive experience for Herman, who was still obsessed with the darkest and saddest sides of human nature. Another great quote from the documentary, Bernard Herman invented and reinvented the music of life's dark romance. I believe Taxi Driver was one of the reinventions. Andre Previn, Bernard Herrmann was a mu musician gifted with inspiration and flawless craftsmanship. So all of these different little quotes, I think, relate to Taxi Driver, which became Mr. Herrmann's final film score. He had a full schedule for 1976. He was, in a sense, rediscovered in the early 70s by Brian De Palma and uh, Larry Cohen and then, of course, Martin Scorsese. Uh, I have read that he, Mr. Herman is going to have an interview with Spielberg. All of this was going on in the mid-70s. And uh, he would say, I'm running with the kids. Or, the new guys want me. These are quotes. Um, so, a little bit quickly, a little bit more from Mr. Scorsese. It wasn't easy to get Bernard Herman to compose the music for Taxi Driver, but I begged and pleaded. Um, I thought his music would create the perfect atmosphere for Taxi Driver. I know I was right. Travis Bickle was the kind of person who didn't listen to anything besides the voices in his head. I was convinced that the only person who could capture this side of state of mind, rather, was Bernard Herrmann. And as was the case with many uh, brilliant films he scored, his music became an integral part and experience of the movie. I hear brass, he said, in a call from London a few months later, uh, for the exercise scenes in particular. Um, let's see, here's another quote from, the, from a Stephen's book. Herman's use, we're going to look at this uh, toward the end of our, uh, the guy's seminar today. Herman's use of the jazz theme in the uh, aftermath carnage cue is symbolic. Benny explained that the reason he did this was to show that this was where Travis' fantasies about women led him, uh, says a co-producer Michael Phillips. His illusions, his self-perpetuating way of dealing with women had finally brought him to that bloody violent outburst. I had never thought of it in terms of what Benny said, but Bobby De Niro and I both said, he's right, it's perfect. Um, as most of you know, Mr. Herman insisted on uh, recording the final cue, which they were going to do Christmas Eve morning. So let's do it tonight. They recorded the last cue. He went and had dinner, went back to his hotel, and passed away in his sleep. And let's give, give you one last cue from Mr. Scorsese. Working with Bernard Herman was one of the most satisfying experiences I've had in pictures 
The day after he died, the press called me and asked for a comment. And I still feel the same way that I did then. There was no one who could even come near him. Martin Scorsese.